Marijuana. So it's Tuesday, I think, and we're just uh, picking up uh, the people from the hostel to drive around in circles. Uh, we've just had some uh, fruit juices, and uh, Doug had uh, cow's eye splits and the juice from the cow's eye. With quail mixed with quail eggs, some live bug things running around, uh, some flour and some juice, and. Uh, it was interesting. It's a fair play to talk about. We, we all had a little bit, but uh, there was drinking most of it. I had a aphrodisiac liqueur made out of tree wood. Um, so, an <laughs> interesting start today. We're about to do a press conference uh, over at Tuna Alpha. So, uh, it's going to be a good day today. Okay, so um, first of all, it's really, I'm really happy to be um, back in Caracas. I was here in January um, to see up the Alpha Convention here inside Tuna. Um, but I'm really, really happy to be back in this amazing city. Estoy muy contenta de estar de vuelta en Caracas. So, Up Convention essentially is a space uh, to provide a space for people who are involved in the independent grassroots or DIY music scene in different cities around the world to give people a space to come together, to share ideas, to collaborate with each other, and to kind of increase people's skills in, in kind of practical elements of the music industry, such as music production. Mm -hmm. And music for those people wasn't about getting money or it wasn't about being famous. It was a way of changing and empowering their communities. And it was a way of changing their community, not just for today, but for future generations. It's a long, slow process, but they believe in it. It is dangerous for them. So when I go home, I'll have a sunburnt head, uh, but also have uh, new ways of thinking and new ways of understanding how people like Marcel and Tuna work in uh, tough situations like Caracas and how over time things will get better for those individuals, whether it's through their own expression or whether they do become famous musicians. You wow. seem to be holding a, uh, a phrase book and a phone. Could you explain the combination? I'm trying to spell a phrase book on my phone. I'm typing it all in, because it's not my phrase book. So later in the evening, I can have all the key lines on my phone. Key, uh, what, what kind of lines? Chat, hola, up lines. Hola, buenas noches, adios, senor, si, no, por favor, de nada. That's the one. Thank you. What's he really doing, Alex? He's really, he met a very special lady last night as he was finger buzzing around the dance floor and for some unknown reason she found Will's moves appealing and uh, so Will is texting a young lady who was very pretty I might add and I think her Labrador was at the door and white stick What's Labrador at the door? <laughs> Guide dog you tit What? Guide dog because she was pretty and you're Distinctly <laughs> 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 I'm 
No, 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 no. 